Howdy folks, and welcome back once more. Let's play Might and Magic 3. Today, uh, we're gonna be doing some murdering on a deserted island. And we have learned, if my party would stop shooting, we have learned that there are vulture rocks in the center of this island, which is something that we are not at all ready to deal with. Wow, that barbarian just fucking killed my entire back row. Good job, buddy. I just want to mill through all of these, like, kind of... I say trash encounters, but we might be in trouble here. We'll see. Now we're good. Frontline's doing what the frontline does. And going full Ginsu on things. A sudden gust of wind reveals the edge of a something buried in the sand. Dig it up? Sure. Oh, we're dead. So yeah, vulture rocks. These things? I don't suppose I can run. Holy shit, we actually managed to run. I'll be fucking ass. Once more... Once more, Brunhilda is going to drag the party's asses back home. Maybe not, we might be... I think... We might actually... We might be stranded here. Because, uh, anybody capable of getting us across the water is dead. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, I guess this is not the Brunhilda show. We have- oh, there we go. I was say, we have water-walking barbarians. So yeah, I think... I think we should perhaps find a different island to troll about on. Uh, so... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, for those who don't know, and ideally I will remember to plop this up on screen, uh, but there are a s couple sets of deserts on this map. Uh, th this is the one in the southeastern corner of the map. The one that I had wanted to start poking around on last time is in, like, the south-central portion of the map. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Yeah, okay, we'll dig it up. Oh, we only got one of them! Let's see if we can survive. These things... These things have, like, 2,000 hit points. Vulture rocks are, like, end-game enemies. I really don't think that we're gonna be able to kill this thing. It would have been hilarious if sleep worked on it, though. Yeah. Yeah, vulture rocks are bad. We we are just not capable of fighting them. They're worth a shitload of experience, though. There are a handful of monsters in this game that are worth just absurd amounts of experience points, and vulture rocks are one of them. And I say an absurd amount, they're worth, like, millions of experience points. Uh, speakings of, I actually looked up what the... Uh, turning in the artifacts does, and apparently what it does differs based on your alignment. It gives you experience points, and if your a lot your character's alignment matches the alignment of the artifact, so since we turned in good artifacts, if you know somebody that's good aligned is in the party, you get I think it's like five hundred thousand experience points. Brandon just rest until my of course Ro or not Rove the Von. He is diseased. We'll go ahead and just remove that. Uh, but if your alignment matches it, you gain 500,000 XP, otherwise you gain, like, 100,000 XP. So, it's a shitload of XP, and I am not going to complain for it. Uh, we won't bother with, like, other buffs for now, not until we get to this island and figure out what kind of horrors we're going to be fighting. Okay, so. Water walk all the way to the south end of the map. Okay. And now we just want to head west. Twisting the cyclone. Yeah, leaves a crater in the ground before us. What it does, I don't know. Okay, yeah, here we go. Some cobra fiends. Some nice, some nice early game enemies that we're actually capable of fighting. Okay, then. We just fell into, like, I don't even know. Old video games of some sort. These things aren't too bad. Rove is, of course, unconscious, which doesn't really particularly bother me. And buff the front row. I love it, I can even get two spells off before things get into my grill. It's wonderful. Ah, uh, get that heroism going, and... I think it's Bless, right? No, it's not. It's Holy Bonus. God damn it. One day. One day. I also looked up, like, what levels we get spells. Uh, we'll be maxed out for, like, spells... The Well of Contradiction. No, I'm not gonna touch that. We'll be maxed out for spells by 17th level on our casters. Uh, yeah, we hear near the chest, but notice that it is not but attempting illusion. 
I love how everybody's disappointed now. They're all cursed, but they're sad because their chest was... was not the betrayal. That's okay. I'm really more interested in just kind of killing everything. Clear this island, because there's that castle. I think that's one of the castles of, like, the mage lords or whatever. A ruined castle, yeah. Investigate. Blackwind the Spellbinder. I am Blackwind the Spellbinder. My spirit has been trapped in these ruined walls and only a member of the living can free me. Enter my keep and seek the release of my tormented soul. Ooh. <sighs> Alright. We got fish, yo. Piranhas. Alright. Sure. That's... Something. I'm sure we do not want to step into these whirlpools. Mm, what happens? Okay, so they just damage us. Not bad. Turn all century glasses down and ring the gong. Alright. Oh, wait, what was that? Seek the three statues below. Come on, you guys! Your strength scores are so bad. Like, my casters, they've got, like, casting stats in the 50s. Back or the front row, though? Completely useless. Oh, and goddamn it, Rose, dead. <sighs> Such a pain. Where is it? Ray's dead. And we'll sleep. Sweet Jesus. Everybody's what? Poisoned? Yeah. I wonder if Levitate will protect us from those. We will find out here momentarily. As soon as I find out where fucking Cure Poison is, oh my lord. Are you guys still gonna die? No. Alright. There's a mod for this that actually... There's a mod for this, and I believe a mod for uh, Might and Magic 4 and 5 by... Let me get his name right. Uh, I think it's Jeff Ludwig? Yes, at jeffludwig.com. And basically what it does is it makes these games play more like Might and Magic 2. Basically all of the monsters on the overworld respawn and stuff. Uh, so you can kind of just run around and hack and slash to your heart's content. But they actually replace some of the spells in this game with things like Remove Curse and stuff. Kind of fascinating. Uh, but yes, I found that out looking for uh, mods for another game that I might... Is it gonna kill me? Oh, it does! I found that out looking for mods for another game that I might be let's playing sooner rather than later. Yo, dog! Fucking random Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Holy shit, this game! <laughs> the bestiary! If I could describe it with one word, I would use eclectic. Because sometimes you just need a Tyrannosaurus Rex to kill your party. Which I can't I can't judge. The holy bonus or bless? Son of a bitch, is it blessed? No! I need to, like, unlearn that spell. Holy shit. Um, there was a necromancer that I played in back when I still played 3rd edition D&D, whose, whose forte was essentially summoning skeletal T-Rexes to just lay waste to everything. It was wonderful. Okay. So we'll just save now that we've got buffs. Where were these stupid things? There they are. Let's see if we can kill them all coked out on buffs. Wow, alright. Uh... I'm thinking maybe Dragon Breath. I'm thinking Dragon Breath. Let's just hit him with, uh, Cold. Still alive. Wow! Are these things like... Holy fuck! Negative 125 from full health. Well, we killed one of them. Uh... It missed. Oh, man! Oh! Oh, it begins! The suffering! The endless... Interminable death! 
don't suppose I could just- I don't, I, Like, how do you go from piranhas to that? Also, there's... Can I? Can we teleport in here? Oh, we can! Oh! Alright. Well, we found our way into the arena, I guess. So, the way this place works is you fight rounds of monsters, and the more rounds you survive, the game gives you XP. To start a fight in the arena, you just use one of these tables. However, we do not want to fight in the arena right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and load. Interesting. I think... I can't speak to the first game, but I know there's an arena in the second one. I know there's arenas in this. There's an arena in Zine. There's an arena in 6, and there's an arena in 7. I don't remember whether or not there was an arena in... 8. And we don't talk about 9. Ugh, I wonder, can I like... Here. Eh, uh, will you... Ah! I wasn't expecting that. Shit. Uh... Okay. I should be, I see, I should be far enough away that they'll just leave me alone now. Sparkling water flows from the fountain of Anathema, mermaid wife of black when the spellbinder toss a coin, yes. At five past six and five past four, the witch word is near. Think often and may be discovered. Okay. Oh no. Can I like... I could time distort us out of here, but we need to kill these stupid fucking things. Here, let's... Gold leaf, you're useless. Oh, there goes Rove. Where's the other one? One on... One on my entire party we can fight. But when there's more than one of them, it's just too much. There we go. Alright, that's what we call acceptable losses. In the dungeon below, many a mile can be walked without gaining a step. Probably due to... Uh, if I had to guess... Like, teleports or something. I was gonna have Devon res people, but he can't. What in the fuck is that? I don't know, we can't get to it though, Chunk's dead. Alright, there's the dungeon. Can we sleep? Okay, swell, man, please, thank you. Thank Christ you have enough mana for a town portal spell. Oh, town portal is so good, you guys. So good. Alright, blow all of our money healing and uncursing, everybody. I say blow all of our money, but this is like basically our bullshit fund that we're spending money from here. Uh, okay. Just sleep, guys. Come on now. Drop down to Wildbar. This is just to save us having to hike the overworld. Now we leave town. And we will rest until morning. Okay. Okay, so I think if we go going east, this is going to be a different island than the one that we were just on. Also, hey, they have barbarians. That's... <sighs> Lethal to Rove. Okay, the dino beetles can stay there. I don't think they're as big a threat. Uh... Dragon Breath! Just do fire. Everybody burns. My primary targets here are the Barbarians, when they get into melee with us. Barbarians have a lot of hit points, as you can see. That's like their thing. That's been the thing of Barbarians in Might and Magic for, like, forever, is they just have a lot of health. Like, since King's Bounty. Like, that's, that's the sole trait of the Barbarian unit in that game, is that we got hit points, yo. Come on, you guys. How many fucking barbarians are there here? Brunhilda, like, single-handedly, single-handedly hacking through the entire horde of barbarians. Just tired of their shit. I'm sure people, the reason people are going down is 
Yeah, we got busted armor and stuff, whereas Brunhilde doesn't. Fucking 68 AC. She gives no fucks. Alright. Ow! Oh, more curses. Unable to pick the lock. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We're, we're not gonna be able to rest here. Let's get into the trees. Oh, that was stupid. Now we're gonna die. Maybe. Come on, Brunhilde. Come on. Oh! God fucking damn it. Like, she's just sitting here trying to sleep. And just keeps... Things just keep trying to gank her. And she's just, like, having absolutely none of it. 24 hit points. 24 hit points. Brunhilde does not give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I love that half-orc. Oh, yes. Identify monster. That's totally what I wanted to cast. Uh, now let's get heroism going. And... Power shield. There. Now, where was that chest? Here we go. Your hands pass right through it, but can... Can Chunk do anything with it? You can still open it, though! But there's nothing in it. You fucking game! You're just looking for excuses to kill Rome, and I don't blame you. I'd be doing the same thing in your place. It's like playing D&D with Arcurus. I just... I target his characters viciously. <sighs> okay, um, well, I guess there's really nothing on these islands except for these freaking wizard caves, which I don't think that we're necessarily ready to go. Does water walking seriously last that long? Huh, interesting. I thought water walk fell off. Interesting. I think there's like one of these that you actually want to step on. I also seem to recall there being like creaking out here or something. Oh, there's something in the trees. Oh, yeah, okay, see, there we go. We can't walk into the water. Oh, that's interesting. So... So if you're in deep water, the game lets you keep going as if you had water walking. But otherwise it just resets it, like like you have to cast it again. That's interesting that they do that here, but in uh, like Zine, if your water walking wears off when you're in water, you just are stuck. Weird. That is a shitload of Cyclopses. I wanna kill these damn sprites. Oh. Peppy Cyclops coming for us, and I don't have my buffs going. Uh, this is probably going to be a rip. And by probably, I mean most likely. And by most likely, I mean we're, we're dead men. Devon's face about sums it up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there's no way! Brunhilda? Brunhilda? Fucking carrying this party! I am telling you guys! Holy shit. The only downside is that I don't know where we're going to be able to go where it will be safe enough for me to rest. I don't know that there's necessarily anywhere we can go. Let's try. We're gonna get attacked by sprites. No, we're not! Holy shit! I don't. This game! I don't even know anymore. I question everything. Rogue, do you have mana? Not enough. Alright, we're gonna fully buff and see if we can maybe fight some Cyclopses. We're probably gonna lose the back row again, if I had to guess. But that is a sacrifice that I am willing to make. That's right, I had to think about whether or not it was Bless or Holy Bonus. I know you guys are like, he's gonna fuck it up again. And, yeah. Okay. Rove, give us Wizard Eye. I'm gonna save. Oh, there's a little hut. How adorable. 
Small hut stands alone in the clearing with no tracks leading to or from its door. Enter? Sure. Rainbow-colored scales fall from the wings of sprites, reflecting lurid things from the less than ample lighting in the hut. Uh, straw pallets scattered on the floor indicate a bunkhouse. Destroy it! Yes. Yeah, okay. Little XP, and it apparently cursed my entire party, but we got a thousand gems, so that's a good, good find. Can you guys, like, not come into the trees or something? Really? Junk finding all kinds of gear. So the Cyclopses can't come into the trees. They can go into mountains, but they can't go into trees. Hmm. I might be able to abuse this somehow. Probably not, but I'm actually mostly curious about accuracy scarab, sure. Box of feeble minding. Less than let's see, this fucking plate mail of disintegration is the dumbest fucking thing. A pearl katana. Oh, broken weapon. Broken weapons, interesting, and a broken flamberg. Alright. Can we Can we Lloyd's beacon on the water? Yeah we can. Nice. Let's get the fuck out of here. We'll be back. Just give me a moment to go fix all of my busted shit. I don't even know. Brunhilda's face about sums up how I'm feeling about this game with its bullshit right about now. Okay, and we're gonna have to sleep until morning, so we're gonna have to rebuff, because of course we will. Okay, so, sell the short sword. Fix the padded armor, fix the long sword, sell that gold shield. Uh, that is better than a silver shield. That can go, that can go. Fuck! 8,000 gold pieces. Shit's expensive. Plate mail's paying for it, though. Orb of time distortion I'm saving. That is very important. Uh, fix that. That can go. Never gonna use it. Crap. Probably not as good. Yeah, only 6 to 14. And that box of feeble mining is never gonna get used. Okay, fix that. Fix that. And Rove, we don't... We don't really care about Rove. But yeah, we are eventually going to want to turn in these other ancient artifacts, because those are, for Rove, a shitload of XP, because I think he's evil, isn't he? Did I make him evil? I think he should be evil. Neutral. God damn it, Rove. You can't, you can't even get your alignment right, you fucking elf. Oh my god. Uh, heroism. Okay. Alright, Yan shitlords, we're back. Yes, wizard eye. We're probably going to just immediately get butchered by these things, if I had to guess. Cyclopses are no joke. Although... How does Brunhilda have the best AC out of everybody? Oh, she's got an Obsidian Scarab and the Crown. Maybe it's just adding up for ridiculous numbers. Maybe I'm forgetting to equip Swell's stuff. The usual. <sighs> Alright. God damn, you guys can't even kill a Cyclops in one round. Like 300,000 gold there. I'll take it. I don't even think they can hit Brunhilda. Jesus fucking Christ, this woman. Oh, What a woman. Oh, there's substantially more Cyclopses left than I thought there were. Get on, Brunhilda. Get them. You got this, girl. Don't. Oh, I think we can do this. I absolutely think we can do this. I just think that we need to not pull groups of three Cyclopses at a time. Cyclopes, whatever the the plural is. Oh, and there it is. Oh! Fuck yeah! Rahilda doesn't give a shit. And there's, seriously, there's still more of them! Oh my lord! Oh! <sighs> 
Brunhilde, you are fucking best girl, and of course shit's broken again. Yeah. The armor breaking, the armor breaking in this, it's not, I thought it was when you died, it's actually when you go unconscious, and um, based on the mod by Jeff Ludwig, it seems like if your character's health hits negative 10, it will break your armor. And the thing that chaps my vittles is that characters don't necessarily die at negative 10 health. So it's just like a, a fuck you. Not a fan, in other words. Okay. We got this. Like I said, I thought we could do it. I'm fairly, fairly confident in our ability to butcher the rest of these things. I think there's like two left. I just want to know because there's a hut. There's a hut. Oh my god, seriously, is there like, there's like another group of like, that's like a three, at least one three stack. Possibly two three stacks of Cyclopses. Plus, Lord knows. Oh, look at it! Fuckers. I wonder if I can like... Yeah! Shit. Uh oh. Mm, do I get greedy? I'm gonna get greedy. On the snow capped peak of the mountain sits a lonely shack draped with icicles. Enter? Yes. The hut is meagerly furnished and scattered with dirty pots and stoneware. The trophies that line the walls of the shack are the game of choice for most Cyclops. Destroy the shack? Yes! The remains of the hut lie in a heap on the ground. The trophies that once lined the walls peer out of the rubble. 250,000 XP, 100,000 gold. Actually, the gear drops that I'm most interested in. Are we gonna get gang banged? Oh, we aren't. Fuck you guys, I'm faster than you. Ah, oh, get bent. And we have a chest. This is decidedly more meager, but, but, see what kind of goodies we got here. Well, that's all just, like, incredibly disappointing. Mmm, gold plate armor. Gold plate armor might be good. Um, I don't know if it's better than crystal, though. Uh, we'll have to do some comparing. Let's see. My AC of 68. 73. Alright, well... Uh, you are going to keep your crystal armor because you are so fucking far ahead of the curve on AC that it's just... It blows my mind. Uh, gold plate mail, gold robes... Most of this stuff I'm just going to sell, like... I'm not even going to bother getting the back row armor that has, like, good armor rating, because they're never going to be able to get to a point where it's enough to keep them alive. So now he's sitting at a 55. Okay, so Swell just made up an, uh, an armor upgrade there. Chunk is still kind of hurting, comparatively. But in his case, I don't know necessarily what we can do. Just getting him like some obsidian scale armor is going to be kind of top shelf for him. <sighs> okay. God damn, there's a lot of Cyclopses. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Can they still reliably hit Swell is my question. Doesn't look like it. That's good enough for me. Oh, uh, okay. So now... Now is just the problem that they're all there in, like, one clump. I had to figure out a way to, like, separate them. Which I can actually do with... Water walk, I think. Oh, where is it? Because what I can do is, like, drag a pack. Where are they? Come on, you guys. Oh, there's just... Oh, I was gonna say there's only two there, but not anymore. Seriously, you guys, come on. You guys up here yet? No. Why are you not? They won't follow me into the mo They won't follow me into the mountains or the trees, but they were in the mountains in the trees. I thought Cyclopses could walk in mountains. Interesting. Okay. Well, that makes actually fighting them harder. I think, because I can't use the mountains and the trees to, like, drag them out and separate them. Well, maybe I can, actually. Kind of. 
we'll see. I would like to clear this place if possible, because these Cyclopses are actually worth a lot of experience points. And save. Get our mini-map going. So what I want to do... Get, like, a bunch of these fuckers up here. Come on. And then just, like, back off. Yeah! You guys. You guys. Thank you. Okay, so that's one group I just picked off. The downside is it, like, killed half my party. Come on. So yeah, now I've got another group up here. So now I've probably got a group... Yeah, right... Oh, there's only two of them. Oh! So we have them split. Now it's a group of two and a group of three. Really? Freaking Ray's dead. Doing work here. As far as I'm aware, there are no negative repercussions to casting Ray's dead. I believe Resurrection, which raises eradicated people... I think that ages the caster, uh, and I know... God, what's it called? Uh, the Super Heal. Divine Intervention. I know that ages the caster as well. I'm sure there's a, wa a well of uh, age reversal in this somewhere, so I'm not too particularly worried by it. But it's something that I'll want to be keeping an eye out for eventually. Alright. Wow, Chunk just immediately goes down. Can Brunhilda, like, without fail, just doing work? Yes, yeah, so there's just three left. I mean, I could just have her charge in and see how things go. She's, she's a beefy lass. I don't know if she's that beefy, though. Yeah. She could probably kill that group of three of them if she got lucky. But realistically, I don't care that much. So we're just gonna leave them here. Ah, oh, we'll go to Blistering Heights. And maybe do some training, see if anybody's ready to level. Gotta remember where the temple is. You gotta love that we're running around with, I think, like, 260,000 gold? Yeah, 260,000 gold pieces. Woof. Okay. Let's find training. Coliseum. Anybody ready to level? Cyclopses are worth a good bit of XP, and we killed a lot of them. Yeah, look at that. A couple levels. Nice. Alright, so basically everybody is 14th or 15th level, so we are now going to want to hit the uh, the guild here, because we're going to be picking up some new spells. And we're getting to the point... Uh, we're getting to the point now where we're going to be getting some of the really good spells. I don't think we'll be getting Implosion yet, sadly. Or no, we might get Implosion. I can't remember if Implosion's 15. My lord. I know there's a guild here somewhere. I'm just... There we go. I was just saying, I'm just too stupid to find it. Okay. Yes. Give me implosion. Ah! Oh, dancing sword. Dancing sword is a great spell. It's another damage spell that scales with the caster, except it's not elemental damage. Wonderful. Etherealize is really good, too. Let's just go through walls and locked doors. So now I don't have to worry about my front row being shit. Duplication... Any item in your back can be reproduced, but the risk of the greedy is more than the weak of heart can bear. Do you wish to purchase? Yes! Because we can save scum and reproduce all that obsidian armor that we have. Holy Word. Holy Word is basically super turn undead. Resurrect is, as I mentioned, it brings back eradicated characters. Mass, Dist Mass Distortion is really good. I think this does like a quarter of the dan- Turk- the car- bleh. Words are hard. It does a quarter of the target's current health in damage. And Moonray damages enemies and heals you. This was great in Might and Magic 2. I think it's probably a little bit less amazing here. Prismatic Sight, Prismatic Light rather, is worthless. Uh, I'm gonna get Ray's dead on the swell. 
and that's it. What's half for me do? Restore a member of your party back to health at great cost. Yeah, I'll pass on that. Alright, good talk. Oh damn it, it's daytime. Uh, I want... We gotta fucking repair shit again. <sighs> that that plate armor is seriously better than obsidian padded armor. Really? 22... 16. Okay, so no it's not. I, at the same time, though, I might give that obsidian armor... I'm gonna give that obsidian armor to Chunk. To bring him up a little bit. Nuke all of this. Uh, get rid of this. Fix this. Look at obsidian robes. I should, feel like I should give those to Devon, though I don't think they'd help him. Ah, <sighs> okay. So let's see. How much is this gonna not Rickin Brunhilda? How much is this going to help you, Chunk? 49 AC. Alright, so the front row is... I think a little bit more healthy looking now in the armor class department. We determined that Swell with a 55 was enough for those Cyclopes to miss him fairly frequently, so... Maybe 50 is a good break point. Regardless, we are at half an hour, going on 40 minutes, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So, as per usual, thank you for watching, I hope you all had a good time, and I will see you all next time, wherein... I have no idea what we're gonna do. Probably wander, maybe we'll do some dungeon diving or something. Until then!